Good morning everyone. This is Debbie Henderson from Debbie's Designs. Welcome to my monthly 3D Thursday. So today I'm going to create a 3D project for you. I'm going to give it a few more seconds for everybody to join me. Hello everyone. Um, just a few things before we get started. My door prize for the month of April is the Tea Together stamp set. And good news about this, this carried over into the new annual catalog that will debut in June. So both the stamp set and the dies will be available for purchase. Um, this was from Celebration. For the month of April, I'm giving everybody a chance to place a $50 order. And if you do so, you'll earn a free shipping coupon to use in the month of May. Um, so I've had quite a few of you guys do this already, and um, I will notify you to use your coupon in the month of May. Also, I started back up with my free card kits. Anybody that places an order through the online store, I will send you a free card kit. This is the one for April. The only thing that will not be included in this card kit is the sentiment because we're not allowed to include stamped images, but you have all the layers sent to you. Okay, I can see everyone coming on, so I'm going to get started. So today I'm using two stamp sets, the Best Catch, which good news on this one also, this carried over into the annual catalog starting in June. So this will be available along with the dies. And the dies are the catch of the day. And I'm actually using the fish today and the little, um, what do you call these things that hang off a fishing pole? It's escaping me. This little thing right here. I can't even think of the word. Isn't that awful? And I'm also using the pocket full of sunshine. I'm using the stitched pocket and then the stitched little V that you see right here. And the stamp set did not carry over into the new catalog in June, but the dies did because we're going to have a new stamp set to coordinate with the dies, which is called Pocket Full of Happiness. So I'm anxious to see what that's going to be all about. So if you want the dies because they'll carry over with a new stamp set, make sure you get this stamp set before it expires on uh, May 31st. So today we're creating a masculine project. It's 3D and this is what I created. It's a little pocket and two little chocolate bars fit inside. It's really easy to create. I'm gonna show you how to do that. So for cardstock, a scrap piece of Sahara sand, whisper white, lemon lime twist, and then I've got a scrap piece, <clears throat> excuse me, of the balmy blue I'm gonna stamp on. And then a piece half an inch wide. I'm not gonna use the whole thing, but I did go 11 by half an inch. Let me set that aside for just a few minutes. Ink colors, I'm using blueberry bushel and early espresso. The one inch circle punch. You already saw the two dies I'm gonna use a blender pen, and the Knight of Navy gingham ribbon. So let's get started. I'm gonna do all the stamping and cutting first so I can get that out of the way. So with the early espresso. Oh, Lori, thank you for saying it's a fishing lure. I just could not get that. It wouldn't come to me. Okay, I've stamped with early espresso. I'm just going to take the blender pen, use the ink lines to color. Isn't that funny? My husband's a fisherman, so I should know what they're called. Next, I'm gonna use the lemon lime twist along with the blueberry bushel. And I'm stamping the fish, so blueberry ink on lemon lime twist only because I wanted to add some color with the blender pen. So I'm just going, um, I'm not coloring the whole thing, I'm just grabbing little bits and pieces. And what's really neat, because it's blue ink on green paper, 
It gives it like a secondary green color. It mixes together to create a green color. Okay, I'm gonna cut those out. Oh, let me do the sentiment. Let me bring this back in so you guys can see how cute that is. So it's your day on Whisper White with Blueberry Bushel. And then I'm cutting that out with a one inch circle punch. Okay, now I'm going to bring the big shot in just so I can cut these two pieces. I'm gonna see if I can do them at the same time, which I should be able to. So there's my little fish. And I'm actually going to use washi tape to hold it down. And our little fishing lure. So I'm so glad that this uh, this best catch is carrying over into the new catalog. If you know me well, you know that I like to create masculine cards. Masculine cards and anything with butterflies seems to always be the first thing on my list. Okay. Now I'm going to bring in the balmy blue. Let me just get my little pieces here. And we're going to use blueberry bushel and we're gonna do the pocket. Now in order for my pocket to be the same at the top, I'm gonna stand so I can see what I'm doing. I'm actually lining up the very top of the stamp. So you can see right here, the very top is lined up with the top of my balmy blue. So it leaves just a little space. And I'm going to do them quite far apart because now I need to actually add a flap to each side. Oh, let me get a wipe. I just got ink on my finger and I don't wanna get it all over my project. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is bring in my paper trimmer and I'm gonna show you how I measured for my flap. As you can see, this is where the number grid is, which I added a piece of Whisper White cardstock underneath so I can see my numbers better. I'm going to take the edge of that Whisper White, line it up with the blue and cut. That way I'm going to be sure that all of my tabs are the same size. So again, the white edge along with the blueberry bushel. So you see how easy that I don't even have to measure. I'm just using the grid. Now I'm going to do the same thing with this one. So you have four cuts per pocket. And I'll bring the project back in as soon as I move my paper trimmer aside. Okay, so there's my four pockets. Now I have one more step. I'm gonna use my trimmer and that's with the scoring tool. This time, the, the little uh, hole where the blade slides, I'm going to line that up right on the blue ink line and score. So you can see it, it scores it right by the, the ink line. So I'm going to do the same thing on all four score lines. So I'm pretty much using my trimmer components as the guide to do all my cutting and scoring. I'm not even using the numbers. I see Cindy is with me tonight. She's one of my customers that hates to measure. So Cindy, this would be right up your alley. No measuring. Okay, I've got two more. Okay. Now I'm going to bring in my paper snips. So you can see here where the lines intersect. That's what I'm going to chop off. Same thing um, down in the bottom. 
So you're going to have three cuts on each pocket. Okay, so that's what that's gonna look like. I'm gonna do the same thing on this one. So you'll understand why I had to cut a half inch strip. Okay, now I'm just gonna use my bone folder to flatten these out. And this would be so cute to do as an Easter project, feminine project, you could do anything. You could add flowers, you could add butterflies. Our little frog set that we got for celebration, that would be so cute with this. Okay, now I'm going to bring in some tear and tape. Just gonna do one pocket. The little Easter bunny would be cute too that um, coordinates with our punch. Let me just press this down so I can peel it easier. So I hope you guys are getting excited for the new catalog. I'm going to order catalogs for my customers next week. They're going to be mailed right to your home. I've seen it already and it's... It's really hard to believe that Stamping Up can top the previous catalog. Okay, now I'm going to add this like so on all four pieces. Whoops, I slipped on that one. So as you can see, as I'm gluing this down, it's leaving some holes. So that's where my little half inch strips going to come in. So now we need to add tear and tape one more time. I don't want to add it on my strip because I don't want the glue to, to come through on the holes on the inside if you stick something in there. So this is the most tedious part of this project is just adding the tear and tape. Whoops, that one's a little too long. I'll just fold it over. Now if I can get these to come off, I'll be good. There, and I'll just fold that one over so it doesn't peek through the hole. So these would actually be really quick to mass produce. Anybody doing craft fairs? Whatever holidays happening around your craft fair, this would be so cute. One more. Okay, now the half inch strip, I'm going to start at one end. Work my way down and pinch. So you can see why I didn't give you the exact measurement. Even though this is 11 inches long, I don't need the whole thing. And there's my little pocket. Isn't that cute and easy? Oh, you know what I forgot to do? Let me see if I can cheat. I forgot to do the little, um, the little V-stitched line. I'm gonna see if I can do it this way. It's kinda almost too much. I might not be able to add that one in there. That's too big. Okay, let me just see if I can get it in. I'm probably going to mess this up. Close enough. One more on the other side. So I should have done this before I cut. But that works. Now I'm going to glue all of the little pieces here with stamping dimensionals. And I want to make sure I push my little fin out. That's what's cute about this fish. The little fin gets uh, snipped, and so does this one. So you can actually make them stick out a little bit. Okay, first I'm going to do my ribbon. And 
And I don't remember if this ribbon is carrying over or not. I'm trying to start going through my stuff that's retiring. Um, I've already pulled all of my punches, my designer paper. I'm just getting ready for the new catalog. Okay, so there's my ribbon. I just did a double knot. I'll bring it down a little bit. Now I'm going to glue the fish in place. Let's see, we're gonna make him go this way. The little sentiment goes at the top. And our little fishing lure goes right there. And then all you do is, is uh, slide the little chocolate bars in there. And I thought what would be cute also is to take one of our cello bags and you could stick that in there. And then let me see, let me get a piece of ribbon. So this would be perfect to present someone with, doing it in a cello bag and also make it easy to sell at craft fairs. And if you think the top is too long, you can just snip that off. So there you go, there's my project for today. Let me bring the other one back in. Oh, I had two more chocolate bars to add into that one too. And those are just the mini chocolate bars. So I hope you guys like my project. It's really cute and easy to replicate. And like I said, you could add butterflies or flowers or anything else. Um, Anne is asking, is this die set in the new catalog? Yes, it is. Both the... Um, both the best catch and the dies have carried over to next time. And then on this one, the stamp set is retiring, but the dies are returning with a new stamp set. So thanks so much for joining me today, everyone. Um, I'm not sure when my next class is, but I will let you know by posting it on my Facebook page. Have a good day, everyone.